and there is a very beautiful practice of samyama yeah. so can you just talk about that i can so first of all the sadhana pada actually mentions all the eight however three of them dharana jnana samadhi put okay. together okay. is called as a is a composite as a set is called samyama Hmm. If you are able to master those things, you know, and uh, let's say you do some yoga on various kinds of parts of your of your body or or, or space or whatever, then certain kinds you you will be able to get great insights, hmm. insights into why things are the way they are. For example, they say uh, uh, kurma nadi stheryam murtha jyotishi santa darshana. So he says there is a kurma nadi over here. Mm-hmm. When you do some yoga at this point from here, mm-hmm. then. There's a light which is there around the uh, halo. You'll be able to see very enlightened beings at that particular point. If you're able to do some yama over here, you'll be able to conquer thirst and hunger. So, like that, he's gone into many ways in which in his opinion, and my my opinion, just a subset. Mm-hmm. You can become invisible. You can tra- you know go, go over universes. You know, he talks about all these powers. So as you pr- perfect your practice of yoga and you understand some yama, you will find. Powers which will fascinate you, and you say, "Wow, I need to get something." Wow, not bad, mm. and that will distract you from from the pursuit of the ultimate goal. Okay, it will just be like a warning, risks and rewards. Then he also tells you about the hurdles that will come yeah. along the way, which might seem boons but are actually curses. Yeah, so um, there is this uh, like you know a mystery of how these yogis knew about like you know the Surya Samhita which talks about sun and space and the the layout of space in so much detail. So do you think that's because they didn't have obviously telescope or they didn't need any telescope or anything? Of course, I see your point. I see your point. Yeah, but maybe they had other instruments that we don't understand. Yeah, one is that mm-hmm. they could have had uh, you know advanced yogic powers mm-hmm. which allowed them to do what we talk about. But that was talking about freaking five thousand years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basic yoga, you know. Uh, so yes, I I would do it. I think there was a period of time when all these things were implicit that people understood it automatically. This was not considered esoteric. You know, you probably yeah. Probably had many yogis, and you know, they, it was, if not commonplace, it was understood. It was, it was possible. So all the other things we've talked about could happen. You could tra- transfer from one, I could go into his body, you could go into his body. Well, it must have been a word, wonderful time, right? <laughs>